Now, a new piece of army hardware has been introduced in the fight against the Taliban. The Trojan is a Challenger 2 tank used to clear roadside bombs. It's specially converted to scythe through any terrain. Forces News' Claire Sadler sent this report from Camp Bastion. This is the Trojan, described by some as a 65-ton Swiss army knife. Pictured here on exercise in Poland, it's now in use in Nadi Ali, Helmand province. It has thermal imaging kit, low-light vision cameras and long-range magnifying devices. But more importantly for Afghanistan, it's a counter-IED measure too. The tank itself comes with a mine plough, which is the major change in terms of technical capability. So instead of having to do uh, manual, uh, rather slower, uh, and certainly more high-risk approaches to IEDs, where we'll now punch through the IED belts using the mine plough and the Challenger tank or the Challenger tank system uh, to deliver the effect of, of breaching these IED belts. IEDs are the weapon most feared by troops on the ground. They've claimed more soldiers' lives than suicide bombers or gunfire. The Trojan only arrived in theatre two weeks ago. Some fantastic young men are going to be operating these machines, uh, some very brave young men, and it, it takes a, a brave young man, of course, to sit in a tank and knowingly drive it towards an IED belt. So, you know, I, 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 or inspiring performance from them, I, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. The role of the engineers is to open up routes allowing support troops to move into the areas of operations. To help them do that, 2-8 engineer regiments are also using the ABLE bridging system for the first time during Operation Mosterak. This is the meat of the machine. Um, this is what actually physically builds the, um, builds the bridge. Uh, once uh, the rail sections are fitted and that's gone out to the other side, um, this tilt table here with these rollers deployed is what the actual uh, bridge panels sit on. Three vehicles are involved in erecting the 44 metre long bridge, which takes just an hour. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Camp Bastion.